Technology is certainly taking us closer to an automated future with AI. Technology is moving up the skill curve as AI becomes more from the eye. How far can it go? In this tutorial I show you how easy you can create a video game with AI and with no code. We want to create a game like Flappy Bird. Okay, but not with a bot, with a hamster. Something really strange, a little bit crazy, okay? We go to Blender, then we add a subdivision surface here. And then we can edit this subdivision surface a little bit and just make a, yeah, like, make a mesh like a hamster, okay? It don't must be perfect. It only must be look a little bit like a hamster here. Now <clears throat> we create the head. Through it here, this part, put it here, place the head here, and then we add a mirror modifier. Select this part here, duplicate, and separate. And now we build some legs in front. Here with the mirror modifier, you can see here, we build them on both sides and just place it here. Front view, rotate a little bit. Okay, duplicate, shift and D, and then now we get some legs on the back side. And then, I don't know, a hamster have a tail? <laughs> I think yes. So we select this part here, duplicate, separate, and now make a simple tail it's very small rotate a little bit okay and what we need more select the head and then select and duplicate the face here from the side with this we build some ears from side view you can scale them down a little bit So like that on the x-axis and set axis and then place them here, rotate a little bit. Okay, now we select the head and with the front we can we can scale it down a little bit. Now we select the camera, alt R and Alt G, place the camera now here, good, then we're adding a material, something uh, with a brown color I think, okay, And then we apply all the modifiers on the hamster. Okay. And then we can place the light a little bit. We can like that. We go to the render options and activate the AI render engine, okay? We want a flying hamster with four legs. Then here the style, we can choose something, I think 3D game, it looks great. Then we go here to render and let's see what the AI creates for us, okay? That looks a little bit strange. I think we can improve that. And I think that we can change that here into a flying hamster with fewer and four legs. Let's click on render again. And look there, that looks great. Now we get our character and save him as PNG file. And then we start a new Blender project. 
And now we need a, a set where our character can collide. Like in the original Fluffy Bird is this are the green tubes and here we can make some rocks, okay? Just something simple here. Now the adjustment for the camera view. Then the adjustment for the lights. Adding material. And activate the AI render engine. And how we can describe these rocks, I think with rocks in the nature. Will be great. Let's do it. Render. And look there, that looks great, okay? I think we can use them. But first we save that as PNG file. But let's see, maybe we can get a better render image. Click here on new image from last AI image. Okay, but I don't like it. That doesn't look so good, so we use the other one, I think. Okay. Okay, now we get our rocks and we open a new Blender project here and now we create a background. A blue sky with some clouds, some white clouds we can create here. Something simple and quick. Let's do it something like that here. Okay, and just scale them a little bit. And always with duplicate, shift and D, change, scale, rotate. Now we get some simple clouds here. Okay, good. AI render engine and let's do it. Good, this is the first render. It doesn't look so bad, but I think we can do it better. Now let's do it again. We can save it. New image from last AI image. Let's see what's happened. And now that looks much better. Okay, save it. And do it again. And yeah, look there. That looks great. We also save this and I think we will save this, use this part. Only the part on top, I think. And then we open our hamster in Jim, And in Jim we are deleting the background. Now we make it transparent. And then when we're done, we save him again as PNG file. And then here we can cut a little bit from our clouds and we change this picture into a resolution of 1920 to 1080. And now we do the same thing here with our rock. We delete the background, make it transparent and then we open Buildbox. Buildbox is a codeless game maker. You can find the link in the video description. And we choose the Flappy template. Okay, here we got our character. Here we had some presets and here we delete all of them. And then with drag and drop we move our hamster inside here. And then we change the direction because he's looking to the left side. Now we get this. And here we adding now the collision shape, that means the shape where our hamster is colliding with other objects in the game. Okay, when we get the collision shape, then our hamster is ready. And here we have no enemy now, we don't need. 
Okay, these objects here we delete, also the pictures, and now we change them into the our rocks. We make one on top and the other one on the bottom. Here we add also the collision shape. And then the same thing we do with the lower object here. Change the picture into the rock and adding the collision shape. And here in the bottom we can adding some scenes and with copy and paste we can use the same objects from our first scene. And now let's move the background inside here into this wheel as a background. I can see here and you can have a try. You can see. <laughs> It looks great, really nice for now. <laughs> but you can see here the background, you have to change something that I don't want, this background is moving with the game. Now you can see here, really cool, <laughs> or flying flappy hamster. You can also create your own power-ups with Blender, with AI, render and then all the other things you can see, the complete UI graphics like here, the game over and all the other menus that you can do in Blender. And this is not a problem, okay? I can show you here in build box, you can go inside here and you can create everything like that here, the graphics, the logo and all the buttons. You can create them here when activate the AI render engine and then here when you choose this style okay and I'm really sure that AI will change the way how video games are made in future if you found this tutorials helpful then just give it a like subscribe to my channel and then see you soon bye